Hello kids, it's Monday the 8th of June and this is our reading lesson today. So we are continuing on with looking at Wolf Brother by Michelle Paver. So today, before we do our reading of an extract from the book, we're going to look over some of the vocabulary that we're, you're going to find in the extract. So uh, understanding vocabulary will deepen our understanding of the book. So today we'll go through the slides and then complete the quiz about the vocabulary that we've discussed and then finally come back to the slides and read through the story. All right then, so this is some of the vocabulary that you are going to find. Some of it you might know and some of it you might not know. So in the quiz afterwards, you're going to have to put these words into context, into your own sentences. Right then, the first word is the word thicket. And a thicket is an area of trees and bushes. So usually very green. It's another word for a forest or something like that, but it might not be a forest. It might just be a, a clump of trees in the middle of a valley. Right, the next word that you will find is the word panic. So panic is a sudden strong feeling of fear that stops reasonable thought or actions. Right. Next word is the word stench. So if something, if there is a stench of something coming from somewhere, it means it's a very a very unpleasant smell. You would never say the stench of perfume or the stench of flowers. It would always be something that smells horrible. So there's a good example in the picture here that it's a stench of bin bags and fish bones and horrible stuff like that. Next vocabulary uh, is the word ravenous. So ravenous means to really, really want something or really want to do something. But usually we talk about ravenous in the sense of being really, really hungry. Right. Next word is the word bewildered. So if you are bewildered by something, it means that you're confused by it or you're uncertain as to what is going on. Right, next one is the word eager. So wanting very much to do or to have something. So we've got a good example here of a student who's really eager to give his answer. He really wants to, he's putting up his hand and you can tell that he's eager because he's really passionate, he's really enthusiastic. Right, next word is the word muzzle. So there's a few different meanings for the word muzzle. In the context of our story, it's talking about the mouth or the nose area of an animal. And we usually associate muzzles with dogs. Um, of course, you also have the, uh, what would you call it? It's a fabric or um, like straps, metal things that you put around the muzzle of a dog. And that's also called a muzzle. Uh, right, next piece of vocabulary is the word tense. So you can describe different things as tense. You could say an atmosphere was tense. You could say you were feeling tense. You could say the movie was tense. So it's something that causes worry or anxiety. Right, the next one is the word jerkin, which is quite a nice word to say, jerkin. So a jerkin is a jacket with no sleeves or collar. So we don't really see these a lot nowadays. Um, we've got two nice examples here. These are both leather, but they could come in all different materials as well. Right then. So that is the vocabulary that you are going to come across in the extract today. So once you've gone through if you need to again the vocabulary then you're going to hop over to um, the vocabulary quiz over here where you're going to write short sentences using the word so we've got thicket up here so you use the word thicket in your own sentence there then once you've done that obviously hand it in and jump back over oh where am I there jump back over to the slides and you've got it's around six pages to read today and it's getting good okay so let me know your thoughts on the story afterwards as well right then thank you kids and let me know if you need any help